Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I am Pretty Nikki and I'm gonna show you how I achieve this El Naturel look. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And I hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, come back and see me later. All right, let's go. So first I started with um, Tint Idol Lancome Foundation, and I also used Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm as a primer. It's supposed to help with keeping um, your oils down and not to make you look so greasy, but I'm still trying to find a, a better primer to go up under this foundation because I still get a little bit oily. But um, I'm using a stippling brush to just stipple that into my skin and make it all nice and even like and do a little dance you know I, I don't even know what I was listening to but apparently I was enjoying it um so next what I do is LA girl pro concealer in warm honey and I use this for my under eye concealer my first under eye concealer and I just smooth that on all nice and pretty like to get rid of those uh, you know those not so many sleepful nights lines you know what I'm talking about and I take a little stippling brush I believe this one's from elf if I'm not mistaken um, but I just blend that in as smoothly as I can to try to make it look as even as possible and poke myself in the eye so yeah next I take my flat brush and that is black opal the um, foundation stick in the shade truly topaz and the reason I'm using a brush is because I'm almost out of it and instead of getting another one I am just going to rock with this one until the wheels fall off and I just take that brush and I go over it I really like these uh, foundation sticks for my under eye because it really does a very 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 good job of concealing those lines that I have under there especially once I bake a little bit after it's blended in but I'm also going to take that same foundation stick slash what I use as concealer and hit my chin a little bit and going to get my the bridge of my nose. I don't really do a lot of forehead uh, highlighting because I don't have much of a forehead if you can't notice. So I try not to do way too much up there, but just, just enough. And then you just take that and you blend it in. I use the same brush as I did with the um, with the Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer, and just stipple it in and smooth that out, blend, 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 as much as I can. I actually could have blended a whole lot better than what I did today, but I was actually in a hurry fil filming this video. I decided to do it when I was actually getting ready instead of just filming a video. And um, didn't realize I was running late, but I was trying to hurry and get it done because I had a place to go this morning. But yeah, just blend, 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 blend all of that in. Next, I take Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I just spray two two sprays up under my eyes where I just uh, concealed. Then I take my Sasha Buttercup powder and I place that under my eye. And that helps just uh, set everything and it helps to keep from creasing and letting those lines shine through. I try not to use too much of this either because I am a chocolate drop. So I like to keep my chocolatiness and not I never want to really make myself look lighter. I just really want to hit those spots on my face where the light naturally hits. But um, as you see, I didn't go too much on my nose. I didn't go too much on my forehead. 
I went a little heavy on the chin, which I usually don't, but I, again, for video purposes, I think I was doing a little bit too much today. So in this video, I do not, I did not have my usual eyebrow pencil, which is MAC uh, spiked eyebrow pencil that I usually use. Um, I have this wider jumbo one from MAC that I got once and I really don't use it honestly, but in the situation where I ran out of my usual one, I had to do what I had to do because you know the brows got to be on fleek. Um, but just to fill them a little bit, I really don't do a whole, whole bunch to my brows because they are pretty, I don't know, I like them just how they are. I don't, I don't do too much. I don't really conceal under and over and all that. I literally just fill them. And so now I'm just taking, I believe this is e.l.f. liquid, uh, liquid eyeliner and just line, okay. I don't know what song I was listening to, um, but just lining my eyes before I put my lashes on. Even though I use black eyelash glue, I still line before I put them on and then I line also after I put them on just to make sure it's all even and you can't see any gaps between the lashes and my skin, my, my natural lashes. So yeah, I believe this is Duo eyelash glue it's black sometimes I wear it without eyeliner because it kind of lines your eyes naturally because it is black surprise surprise so you want to blow your lashes a little bit just the glue you want to get it tacky or I forget who it was on Instagram that said you want to make your eyelash glue as tacky as your man's ex. I thought that was hilarious. And every time I do my lashes, I think about when he said that. Hilarious, I tell you. So, yeah, I don't really have any rhyme or reason to how I put my lashes on. I just try to line them up as close to my natural lashes as I can. And then just kind of press it gently with my finger to make it line up. My my inner eye has been kind of janky lately with my lashes, but I just press and then once the glue is a little bit drier, I will take my thumbnail and maybe my, I think either my index or, yep, there it is, my index finger and I'll press them together gently because you don't want your lash to come off on your finger. That's like the worst that you could do. Um. So yeah. You just keep messing with it until it's where you desire. And move on to the next one. Same deal. Put the glue on. Make sure it's tacky like your man's ex. And then once it's tacky like your man's ex, you just gently put it on. I was jamming this morning. I wish I knew what it was because I've taken the sound off while editing the video, but I, I think I was getting it. Clearly. Clearly, I thought I was getting it. I can't even concentrate. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, again, I just place them as close to my natural lashes as I can try to make sure there's no gap try to make sure that they're like facing upward instead of like straight out because that looks kind of weird also and then you want to just pinch them pinch that's the word I was looking for you pinch it with your thumb and you uh, and you torque while you wait and you clap apparently um but yeah you you just want to make sure that they are where you want them to be before you really start to manipulate them any because you don't want them to come off. I've had that happen many a times. And then, like I said, I, I go ahead and I re-line my lashes after uh, after I, I have my lashes on. I, I Eyelids, whatever it's called. Look, y'all, I'm trying to do a voiceover while watching this and whatever. So I, I pretty much put eyeliner on after I put on my lashes. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I, I um, 
take a I don't even know what it's a fluffy brush but I get my um, baking powder it's not baking powder but my Sasha buttercup and I just sweep it off as much as I can and I, again I try to get as much off as possible because I like to keep my chocolatey hue and if you can tell in this video I totally 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 forget above that eye I was talking to my god sister and she had a really funny story well it wasn't funny at the time but we laughed about it afterwards but I was so into the story she was facetiming me so if you keep see yeah if you keep seeing me look like down it's, <laughs> it's because I'm facetiming her so yeah I try to sweep all this off again I could have done a better job so here I am just doing a little contour action for that I use Embark. It's actually an eyeshadow that MAC has, but um I take like a little contouring brush and put it in put it in my Embark and hit my hit the hollows of my cheeks and I hit my nose and that's about all I contour. Like when my when my face is a little bit smaller, like when I lose even more weight, my uh, okay, she must have said something funny. Um <laughs> when when I lose a little bit of weight and my jawline is popping, I usually will contour that thin to make sure it's like crisp. But right now I'm not in that place, so it'll just literally look like a dark line on my jawline, so that's unnecessary. So yeah, I kind of just take the brush from like right under my eyebrow, I guess you could say, and then down the side of my nose on both sides. If you notice, I have a chicken pox scar right there by my eyebrow from when I was like five and I had chicken pox and the scar never went away. But I never try to conceal it because it's like, it's a part of me, so she can stay. So I take a kabuki brush and just try to blend. And again, I did not do an amazing job at blending today. When I film my next video, I will be to perfection for y'all, I promise. Um, but just blend, blend, blend. Cause I feel like today I wasn't very, I had like a lot of lines of demarcation, if you will. And that's not usually how I roll, but like I said, I was kind of in a hurry. I don't even know why I decided to film this morning, but I did. And this is just, um, I think it's elf eyebrow gel. Again, my brows weren't amazing today because I didn't have my usual staple of uh brow pencil but they they turned out okay i wore a hat today anyway so you couldn't really see them any anyhow so now i am taking my blush brush and i mix two different blushes these brushes are brushes my gosh blushes these are from la femme and i ordered them on makeup mania i believe i'll i'll leave the description below of where I got them but uh, I didn't I didn't do a full palette I, I think I have like three more to get in order to fill it up I had one break on me so I would have had two more to do but you know here I am taking a jumbo pen pencil from NYX and I just go in on my waterline I really like how this looks I used to only go halfway like from the outer corner to the middle but more recently I like how it looks when I go all the way in. This is I have to put it below but it's from the um, Too Faced peanut butter palette and I'm just doing my tear ducts bringing a little little brightness to the center of my face bring a little attention even more attention to my eyes even though I didn't do any eyeshadow today. Because it's a natural look. You don't want to be too made. I know I say a natural look and I've been talking for like 25 minutes of, of all that I've done on my face. But it is what it is. So for my highlight, I use MAC Gold Deposit. Um, I noticed that with my Sasha Buttercup powder, this doesn't show up very well on me anymore. So I need to play around with it so it can be like... My highlight is popping, you hear me? Like, but for some reason with my complexion and the buttercup powder, it you can barely see it at all. But before, when I used uh, something else, I forget what I used to use, you could see it. 
Gotta get my button nose. Can't leave that out. Um, I don't know what was so funny. But yeah, if you remember earlier, I said I don't do a lot of highlight on my forehead because I don't have much of a forehead. What the heck were we talking about? Um, yeah, so I don't I don't really like that it doesn't show up as much, but because I, I like to be highlighted to perfection. Like, I, I want to look like a unicorn. So I just take that same kabuki brush and kind of subtly blend it all in without taking it all off. But again, blending is your friend. And like I said, I did not blend to my usual perfection today, but I got the job done. And I'm singing again. So yeah. I usually do my wings afterwards because I found when I do my wings prior to sweeping off my um, buttercup powder that it pretty much will sweep away the wing. So I, I do little wings at the end. Sometimes I do dramatic wings, like, you know, they're supposed to be sisters and not twins, but sometimes I try to make them match and I end up looking like a raccoon. So I figure it's better to go for like a small one on a, on a natural day, you know? Keep it cute, keep it tight. Don't do too much, less is more. To top it off, again, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And the final results are as such. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, like it, don't forget to like it. Please subscribe and leave some comments below. And if you get a chance, follow me on Instagram. It's pretty Nikki. You won't regret it. Love you.